Hello everyone, so my name is Teacher Ine. I am a teacher by profession and this is my first vlog, all right? So this is a way to reach out with my students and also I would like to help those who are bum, okay, not bum, but actually they want to be productive in their world, okay. So I will be sharing how to use different programs such as Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, and MS, MS Paint, okay, for my students. But if you also want to learn uh, how to use this program, so please stay tuned with my channel. Do not forget to click the subscription button and then share it with your friends as well and to your loved ones. Okay, I hope you will enjoy my channel and I hope you are always safe and remain healthy. Okay. Hello everyone. I am Teacher Ine and our lesson for today is about getting started with Microsoft Word. All right. So... Uh, our lesson is just very simple today, recognizing the parts of the Microsoft environment and then identifying its function, how to create a new document, how to close it, how to save, and definitely you need to perform tasks in creating a document. All right, so let's start. So to start with, let's define what is Microsoft Word. So it is a productivity program from the Microsoft Office that has powerful tools for creating, oops, sorry, for creating documents like letters, reports, writings, and many more. Now, if you are a new, for, uh, if you are a fresh graduate, so you can use this one in making your resume, okay? And not only that, so if you, if you have a business, so you can also make your flyers, your brochures, or even your invitations if you have different occasions in your family. So uh, you can do a lot of things here. Even you can also modify your pictures and that will uh, that is another topic, okay, for the coming days. All right, let's start. So how to open or how to launch it? So definitely you click Microsoft Word 2013 from the start screen. Select blank document from the Microsoft Word 2013 now in my case so I will click the start button and then on the start menu, uh, I will look for it here so it, it was alphabetically arranged so click word or click the start click the search box and then type word or in my case I usually uh, place my my program in, in the taskbar so I click that all right, so when you click that, so the, the document was opened already. Okay, now let's identify its part. Okay, now the first one is the quick access toolbar. Now this bar contains the most commonly used commands such as saved, undo, redo, and a lot of things. So it depends on your preference if you want to add a lot more. Okay, you can also customize that. Later, I will be showing you how to customize it. Next is the title bar. This displays the file name and the program name. If we have not yet saved the file, so the initial name is document one. In this case, the name of the program is Microsoft Word. Now we have the ribbon. The ribbon is found below the title bar. It contains all the commands that we will need to perform the tasks in Microsoft Word. It has tabs that are divided into groups of commands. Now, if you notice here below, so the command buttons, the one that we are clicking, so it was grouped together according to its function or purpose. So every time you click a, a tab name, so a ribbon also appears, okay, a different ribbon appears. So we have home tab, insert tab, design tab, 
page layout, reference, mailing tabs, review, and view. Now, we have the cursor, uh, cursor or insertion point and I-beam. Cursor, this is a blinking vertical bar that indicates where we will insert the text or objects. It is also called the insertion point. It becomes an I-beam pointer when we hovered on an area where text may be inserted, highlighted, or changed. So later on, I will be showing you what is the difference between the two. Now, next, we have the document window where we place everything, the text, the objects, such as pictures, graphs, etc. And we have the status bar. As you can see, it's, it, it is pointing at the bottom. So you can see the page number, the number of words, and in line with that, on the right side, it has a zoom control that enables you to scale, okay, in a larger or smaller, the working area. And we have the scroll bars, okay? So these bars are used to scroll up and down through the pages of the document. Now, how to create it? Simply click the File tab, click New, and select Blank Document. Now, I will be showing you, okay, for example, so click File, click New, and then here it is, the blank document. When you click that, so a blank document appears. So I will just close it next or you can also choose from the templates here what are templates templates these are predefined documents that you can edit now if you plan to have a resume if you want to make your own brochure uh, calendar invitation or even certificate you can also use this program okay now let's go back what if you want to you want to save your file if you want to save your file simply go to file tab and then click save or save as what is the difference between the two now if you are just starting making your document either of the two works but if you just save it already so the save buttons should be choose where where you use the save as is for you to be able to change the file name or change the location where you will be saving your document okay now let's say for example we need to save this one so click save as click browse or the computer browse is you need to select the folder all right, how to create a folder. So this is another topic, but for the sake of discussion, click new folder and then type, let's say, tutorial to tutorial. Okay, so click and then this is lesson, lesson one and click save button. Okay, as you notice a while ago, so it has a different file name. Now it is lesson one okay as i mentioned you can also customize the quick access toolbar if you don't like the new so simply uncheck it if you don't like the open and check it if you like uh to, to print it outright so click quick print by the way so do not be afraid if you happen to see the quick access toolbar at the bottom of your ribbon you can also change its location by simply click the drop down button and choose show above the ribbon that's it now so you know how to make a new you know how to save you know how to open let's close so the the ways of how to close is simply click the close button or right click in your title bar and click close or use the shortcut key alt f4 or click file tab and choose close so those are the ways okay all right next okay so let me give you a recap okay control i'll just make it a little big okay ct uh, rl control control okay control n is for creating a new document ctrl plus o is for opening opening ctrl plus s is for 
saving and alt alt plus f4 is for closing okay so these are the four shortcut keys for this lesson that you should um that you should use okay now uh what are other uh things that you need to understand is if you are done let's say for example in my case uh, I chose Alt F4 and I was asked to save it. Okay, so I don't like to save it, so don't save. Now, if you have multiple documents, so Alt F4 works if works, just simply close the current document that you are working. Okay, so that ends my lesson for, for this day. I hope you have learned new things and you will apply it. All right. So for the coming tutorials, so there are things that you can also uh, share with your friends or apply it. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.